Hello everyone. As always, I'm not here to talk about how cool the new hero looks, or how great the animations are, or the fact that dynamic main screens are my new favorite thing. I'm here to talk about the moveset and the gameplay. I guess you can say that the new hero is the opposite of Boss Laurel in a way, whereas he had a decently fleshed out kit with an extremely underbaked gimmick, this hero has a fully fleshed out gimmick with an extremely simple main kit. So let's begin with the good. Enhanced lights and pinning unblockables do sell the fact that it's a big heavy weapon. There's lots of stuff you can do after full blocking an enemy, namely a light attack for speed, zone attack for hitbox, top heavy for damage, scythe heavy for a mix between hitbox, damage and being able to execute, and finally, a bash, stack and ledge or wall splat. Also, here's some genuinely cool stuff you can do. After a full block or after a pinning heavy, you can actually dodge in any direction which can be useful for positioning, switching your offense to another enemy, or running away. You also may not know that you can soften the heavy into the full block itself which can be useful in teamfights or when you predict the enemy will try to, say, interrupt you with a light. So yes, there's lots to like about this hero, and you have so many options defensively speaking that I didn't even mention the fact that her crush encounters have extended block frames. I didn't even mention chain crush encounters or superior block dodge attacks, it sure leaves a lot of room to get creative. Awesome. However, in terms of offense, this is one of the most boring heroes there is, because in a teamfight you're going to be repeating the same moves, dodge attack and blockable, over and over and over. Because her dodge attack covers a ton of distance, which is surprising since she's a heavy, and the unblockable has a massive hitbox, tons of reach, and tracking. It also doesn't help that that's practically it. That's the moveset. Bash, light, dodge attack, unblockable. All the while she keeps screaming, like literally screaming non-stop every time you do anything at all. I was getting tilted just having a normal teamfight with a couple of these because it feels cheap. It doesn't feel like anybody is thinking. Because her offense is so easy. The best way to avoid any incoming attacks is always to dodge attack externally, then doing the unblockable. There's no variety, ever. Everyone is just spamming the same exact two moves over and over again. It's the most goo goo gaga offense in the game, because it's an extremely simple moveset, overtuned with properties. She has this really strange cognitive dissonance because her offense is super easy and simple, but then her defense is super well thought out, deep, and fun. So I don't get it, is this meant to be another easy to use baby hero or a more intricate hero for veterans of the game? There's a lot to like, and I really appreciate the new mechanic being able to stagger even zone attacks. And I love that she doesn't have hyper armor on the full block punishes, and instead, that she has to dodge cancel out of the block animation to avoid any incoming unblockables. But I just cannot cope with the way she attacks, instead of having a lot of moves that each are good in their own way and do their own thing, like what they did with the full block, they decided to give her 3 attacks and have each of those be extremely good. The bash, the dodge attacks, and the unblockables specifically cover a ton of distance and have some insane tracking even though again she's meant to be a heavy, like to the point that it makes the animation feel jarring. And the only time that I feel like I'm doing something smart when playing her is when I make a good decision on what punish to use, or when I dodge cancel out of a pin to hit somebody else. Other than that, there's really nothing here for me, which is a darn shame, because some parts of her moveset are incredibly well done. Overall, I'm putting her in the same place as Ocelotl. Both have some great aspects, but both are lacking something big. That's it, thanks for watching, see ya.